pretty much what I expected. It's a little bit more chilled out and in the middle of the summer, but uh, it's still a tourist trap. But it's not pretty cool because it's not too hot and there is not that many people here. So you can actually enjoy the views and enjoy the beautiful architecture that you can definitely find here. Photographing this place in January could be a good idea. Too many people, but you don't have to push around and wait around to walk here. What you can probably expect in the summer, in the middle of the summer. So right now, it's doable. It's definitely something you should check out no matter when you come here. You should come to the old town and see all the beauty that is here. Of course, it's a tourist trap, so everything costs very much. So if you want a slice of pizza and uh, soda, it's 15 euros or something like that. So let's go to the harbor for a bit so I can show you, show you around. So outside the city walls is this nice bit of harbor. But this is a nice place at the evening time to come and chill out. You can even swim and there's some nice views. And the sun sets somewhere around there, if I remember correctly. So come in here at night or evening time. Take a couple of beers with you and uh, chill. It's a nice spot. Okay, so this local taxi driver took me to a better place to see, <laughs> see Dubrovnik. Yes. Thank you. Let's see the place. So that's King's Landing. <laughs> Dubrovnik. In all its glory. Beautiful place. It looks so, so chill from up here. Look at the walls. That is a fortress. Beautiful. Okay, good morning from Dubrovnik. And look, there's an Africa twin. Nice red one. That's a heavy beast too. So, now we're heading towards Montenegro yeah it was uh, initially when I went to Dubrovnik it was quite nice not overly crowded but there was still kind of a lot of people but when I left there I really <laughs> hate is a strong word but I, I dislike it it is just so touristy Everything costs a million and uh, everything is there for the tourists, not nothing for locals. It is only a tourist attraction, so I really don't like those places. It feels like a carnival or a theme park. Yeah, that's the right word. It feels like a theme park. There's no authenticity. Dubrovnik is good for couple nights but don't stay here for longer it's not really all that nice although some people might like it but I am not one of those I would rather stay at split not at the center of split but somewhere in the in the vicinity so you can go to Omis take a zip ride you can you can swim there you can do everything but here it's only that one theme park <laughs> That is the old town and uh, too hot too many people even at the post office i'll tell you a story <laughs> i went there to send a couple of postcards to finland so i bought the postcards and then i was like uh, can i have a pen to write the addresses like, okay you can buy a pen i mean like i'm in a post office and i can't write an address without buying a pencil so of course it's not 
expensive but that's just one example of a tourist trap where you you are taken for everything you have i know this is a lot of drama just about a pen but still at the post office when i was uh in poland i was also sending a package from po from the post office and i asked uh, for tape if i could tape the package that i bought from them so i could close it no you have to buy the whole roll or a new roll of packing tape <laughs> i was like what this is a post office but yeah i had to buy the roll and leave it on the table for someone else to use they probably just take it in the back and use it use it themselves after i used like 20 centimeters of the, of the roll so maybe i'm just i've just gotten used to the Finnish post offices where you can have all the tape you want you can have a pencil you do buy the packages you do buy the services of course but some of these side things you just have automatically without extra charge they uh, and actually it was funny they had those pencils the, the pencil holders on every counter so they used to have pencils there but maybe some management person said Oh, oh, we can have some more money by selling pencils for every customer. <laughs> so they had cut the wires from the pencil holders and there were only the holders left on the tables. <laughs> it was funny also. But what I did this morning again, I'm trying to find these medications that I have to eat for my headaches, which don't even help, by the way. <sighs> and I can't find them anywhere. So. Let's see how that goes, because that's a medication that I can't st just uh, stop eating. I have to gradually come off of, of it and uh, there's going to be some side effects for stopping that medication. That's not funny. I really hope I can find that medication in Greece. Otherwise this trip is going to get tricky. But at first I have to go to Montenegro and then I have to go to Albania and after that I'm in Greece. I am assuming that I can't find those medications in Montenegro or Albania. This is a gorgeous bridge. I did take some photographs of this yesterday. I'm just gonna go past this on a solid line because it's so slow. And I can't show you the bridge in all its glory if I'm driving behind a lorry. These are the big boats that bring the tourists. Apparently you can bring like thousands of people with one ship. Taxi driver told me 10,000 but I, I'm not sure if I believe that. I would be very curious to come here in January where all the places are, almost all the places are probably closed and there's nobody here. It could be very interesting and even spooky because the place is so beautiful. I almost see the place. If I could turn my head <laughs> for long enough. <laughs> yeah, there it is, the old town. It's so beautiful from afar. This is the line 
for crossing to Montenegro. And this is actually the first time I'm gonna be using <laughs> my Patch Bandit sticker. I know it's stupid, but I have the stickers with me, but I haven't put them anywhere. If I can just get them out. It's just so tight here. This kind of sticker. That's a bit big for there. There seems to be a good spot. Yeah, let's put it here. <coughs> it's fun to see if it's still here when I someday, hopefully, come here again. Or if some of you drive here, it's just after the customs when you come from Croatia to Montenegro. So, you can scan it and send me a message. There's a lot more stickers in this way. Maybe I should have done it behind. Okay, so I have done one now. <laughs> Which is cool, I guess. I have a few more. But yeah, let's continue to Montenegro. We're actually gonna drive through Montenegro all the way to the Albanian border and then we're gonna stay there. I didn't want to book an Airbnb on the Albanian, Albanian side for next night because who knows what happens at the border of Montenegro and Albania. I've never done that so it's better to do it in the morning and see what happens and if I get through easily then just drive deeper into the Albanian side and stay there. Let's continue the journey. Yeah, I kind of effed up myself because I really thought that I would be able to enter Montenegro without any papers for the bike. I only have the insurance card, the green card from my insurance company because Albania I think needs it but for insurance purposes but that's not enough in the customs of Montenegro. So now I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. It's possible that I have to request the papers from Finland and they will send them to me but that means I'm gonna not getting to uh, Montenegro at least in the next week. That's a bummer. <laughs> Back to uh, Croatia I guess. Well, this, these things happen when you're sloppy. Now I just have to... Oh, shit. In addition to that, it's Saturday. So I can't even call anywhere for the papers. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Absolutely crazy. Okay, I was thinking maybe I can go past Montenegro, but... It's a big country and it's uh, quite a big, quite a, quite a long way from, from the actual route. And in addition to that, it's quite possible that Albania is going to want those papers anyway. So I'm going to have to stay in one place for quite some time because of this setback. But okay, I guess I'll come back to this when I find out something. <laughs> 